Yeah, still uh, second of December. This is one of the machines I swapped my labor for. This is a special grinder for sharpening lathe tools. That's its primary use. The grinder itself is a Rockwell. It's probably older than dirt, but it runs perfect. I just uh, cleaned it up just a little bit. I didn't bother taking the water trays off. But you can see up underneath there, maybe, uh, that's one of the scales to set your angle. All four of them are still in place. It's got three original knobs on the bottom and then the oddball where they lost one. Ain't no big deal. Um, grain and machinery gray. The grinder itself started out machinery gray, so the pedestal was probably machinery gray at one point, but the minor details. So, it'll be handy. Uh, you can also sharpen drill bits with it. Um, again, all I did was give them a little bit of labor and in lieu of pay. I uh, asked for this. These pieces of 16 gauge galvanized metal so I can eventually remove the frame and sliding doors for the dog doors and just permanently seal them with this uh, 16 gauge galvanized. Uh, seal it in place, should be good to go. That's the plan, but it has to be a somewhat warm day so the sealant will seal correctly. Grab some two by fours because they also gave me about 20 pieces, fairly large, uh, 7 16 OSB. One piece of seven, one thickness. The seven sixteenths OSB is not worth a damn for a shelf. You glue two of them together, you got a hell of a shelf that you can hang on the wall. So that's my plan. I'll cut them down to whatever size I think is a good size. Uh, glue them together. I have another dozen shelves if I want that many. Uh, these lights they put in. I'm telling you. You got fluorescence, you want some decent light that's all temperature lighting. They come on down to zero degrees or better. Flip the switch, light comes on. LEDs don't suck no power. And uh, hell of a deal. When I get my lathe and uh, drill press in its final position, we're going to dedicate some lighting over it so I can see what I'm doing, particularly on the lathe. Uh, either a two or four fixture light. But first I got to set the machines. Probably going to be in that corner. And uh, been bouncing back and forth between my little building here, my old factory. And they, uh, like I said in this previous video, they need some experience. Uh, well, they just need some experience. That's all there is to it. They'll gain it. And uh, I told them, so if you see my truck, I'm in that building. If I can break away, just come get me. And we'll sort it all out. And then, uh, I doubt I'll build them uh, going forward. If they're gonna keep on swapping stuff they're gonna throw away. Uh, that works for me. Uh, they were setting aside a welded table better than the one I got over there uh, about 30 inches uh, wide looked to be about four and a half foot the other dimension about 30 inches tall it's a good table for this little building because it's a little table and uh, so what y'all gonna do with that I said, well probably nothing we're just gonna leave it in here I said well I'll take that and trade too. And, uh, they save cash money. I get you know more stuff I can use down here. No matter what direction I go with in this building. Uh, Jerry wants to do a little export business to the Philippines, but we don't know what we're going to export. Uh, I like working with lays and mills, and there's a market for a small shop to do small jobs at a reasonable price. 
of course I can weld and uh, I got a lot of welding equipment I'll bring down after I get the building alarmed right now it's just monitored by one an active alarm too so busy day a little after three I'll go up there and check at the factory again see how they're doing but yeah this little precision grinder uh, older than dirt and it runs smooth as silk so I'll put it to use I don't care about how old it is cleaned up decent that's good enough for me that's all for this one thank you